<laughs> Hi, ladies and gents. Welcome to CEO Meets. My name is Pitt Wilkins. I am the Chief Executive at the BFA, and I'm delighted to be joined by Mark Holland from Body Street today. Um, Mark, talk to us a bit about what Body Street do. Uh, good, uh, yeah, thank you, Pim. Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, Body Street, so our franchisees, they operate uh, fitness studios, but they're fitness studios with a little bit of difference. They're designed and they're built for those people with little or no time. Uh, we do a once a week, 20 minute workout, which is similar to doing to the gym two or three times a week. So it's great for time poor people. And that's what our franchisees operate the studio. And as a, as a master franchisee, what we do is we implement the system that the franchisor has developed to help our franchisees grow, develop, and, and ultimately have very successful businesses. So that's what we do at Body Street. So let me understand this. I only have to go to the gym once a week for 20 minutes, and it will be the same as going three times a week. That's, that's our biggest challenge. I think um, people go, really? Is that too good to be true? Look, we're sat at the moment. Uh, you're sat somewhere. I'm sat somewhere. We're using technology. Yep. to speed up a process. I've not traveled hours to get to you. You've not traveled hours. Um, so we're using technology in all parts of our life. So why not fitness? What, what makes it sensible that we still go to somewhere three or four times a week and pick up bits of metal to get fit? Why not use technology to speed it up and to deliver what we're looking for? So how does the technology work then? Is it is it just vibrating plates or I've seen some of these before. So Yes. Um, so uh, when you exercise, your brain delivers a stimulus to make your muscles contract and relax. Yep. We use exactly the same stimulus from the outside. So as you contract yourself naturally, the suit delivers exactly the same impulse. So as far as your body's concerned, your brain is saying work hard. But when you're in the gym pip and you do that's one, two reps, three reps, four reps, mm -hmm. in one second, you do 85 reps. So in a four second exercise, you're doing 340 reps. And that's why it's so effective. And the other thing it can do is your body's naturally designed to allow your muscles to work at 40, 50, 60. If you're really good, 70% of its capacity to contract and relax. We can actually activate your muscles to over 90%. Um, and therefore it's incredibly effective. And that's why it's like going to the gym three times a week. Sounds brilliant. I need one right next door to me so I can uh, get myself fit and healthy overnight. <laughs> well, if you go to the BFA website, there's an application form you can fill in and I will quite happily have a conversation with you at that point. <laughs> so on that basis, what are you looking for in franchisees? What's the kind of key attributes then? Uh, it's a great question. So we take a step back. What we're about as a business is we're about encouraging uh, and equipping young people to be successful. So our franchise model is about fitness. Mm -hmm. It's about helping our local community get fit and maintain fitness. And the other element of our business is all about empowering young people to be successful in business. Uh, and we've got a great training program that we've sort of inherited from Germany and then have adapted for the UK market. So what we're looking for in our franchisees is people have got a caring attitude. They want to help their local community be fit. Mm -hmm. but they also want to help and empower young people. So our key attributes is do you want to build a team and can you build a team? And number two is, can you build and keep customers? We'll take care of everything else, the business development, the, the, the sort of the business accounting, uh, the marketing, the, the websites and all that sort of thing. And you as a franchisee, we want you to build a team and maintain and manage customers. And that's what we're looking that's for. It. You touched there on the fact that, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a master franchise and it's from um, Germany. So talk to us a bit about kind of your role. How did you get involved? Um, so it's one of these uh, moments in time where uh, paths cross. So uh, those who don't know, my background, I've been, I've been fran in franchising for a long time now, uh, nearly as long as you, Pip, but not quite. And, uh, <laughs> I and, look too young. They won't uh, believe exactly, well, That's it. We're all too young. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to grow stuff on my face to hide their age. But anyway. <laughs> Um, I came across the, a piece of technology. Somebody knocked on my door. I was helping people franchise their businesses. And um, somebody knocked on my door and said, look, I've, I've got this piece of equipment. I'd like to franchise it. And, and as we all know, you don't franchise equipment. You franchise business systems. You can't just franchise an idea. You have to have an operating system. So whilst I said, no, I'm not interested, what I was really interested in is this once a week for 20 minutes. I don't like the gym. I'm not particularly interested in going to the gym. What attracts me is, is um, I'm A, busy, B, I love cycling, and C, in the country we live, 
it, the, from from about the middle of October onwards, cycling's a bit dangerous. But it was, I saw it as a way of me keeping fit. So I went looking to see who else was out there doing this uh, concept. And that's where I met Matthias and Emma Lina, who are master franchise or franchisors of Body Street in Germany. And they were sort of looking to expand at the time out of the Germanic market and into a, 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 the English speaking market. So it was one of those, you know, we met at the right time. Um, and, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, well, <laughs> yes, because yeah, the week, yeah, talk about perfect storm. The week after we signed the agreement, Brexit was voted for. Then we've had COVID. I, I, I just don't, so B, that C. I don't know what's going to be beginning with D, but anyway, that's, uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so that's how I got involved. So, But you've been doing a lot of different stuff. So you, you do a lot of work with the Kickstart scheme? Yeah, so if we if we go back to what our values are, so as a business, we sit under the acronym Richie, R-I-C-H-Y. And the Y is about the Y generation, the, the, the young people of today. Um, and that's driven about digital and the digital age and where we're going with, with what we do. But it's all around knowing your why. Um, so what we've seen with the Kickstart opportunities is a great way to sit within what we're trying to do, which is empowering young people to be successful in careers and business. Now, they're not necessarily gonna stay with Body Street, but if we can give them the leg up into uh, the, the, the career and the business world by giving them great key skills like um, people skills with working with individuals, personal training, some basic sales skills and understanding sales, some leadership skills, and also some business administration skills. Uh, and that's what we provide for our, uh, for our teams. If we can give them that, then they're an asset to Body Street or and another another uh, um, employer. Uh, and we've just done our first tranche of, uh, of Kickstarters. And the great news is um, three of them have already gone off and got employment elsewhere. Brilliant. But seven, nearly 70% of them have now become full-time employees in Body Street Studios across the UK. Uh, and we're now going through the next tranche, looking for the next tranche. So it's very exciting because we've had the Kickstarters have then entered into our apprenticeship program, which if they wish to, not only can they get their industry qualifications, they can actually study for a degree in business, all taken care for and provided by Body Street and our training provider, which is YMCA Fit, who are one of the biggest recognized in the fitness industry. So it's very exciting. It really works well with that why in our values as, as a business, because we our mission is to be the most respected employer in the fitness industry with the best educated trainers in the sector. Um, and so Kickstart works really well for that. That's truly awesome. And, the, you know, the degree side of things is great. This is about leaving people better than you found them. Um, and a huge opportunity, you know, the association we're moving forward with education of the next generation as well. So completely on board with that. Yeah, no, it's, it's very exciting and very rewarding. And yeah, look, yeah, business is about having a, you know, business is per se is about making money and having a successful business, but you don't necessarily always need to measure it by how much profit is in the bottom line. It's actually, what are you leaving as a legacy? Yeah. Um, so the last 18 months has obviously not been that great because of the the, the COVID word and the Brexit word, um, but let's not focus on that. Let's talk about the next 12 months. What is, what's that looking like for you? What's your plans? So, yeah, so we, we've obviously got a lot of people who are, uh, have been interested in engaging. And, and look, COVID has done a lot of things, but what it has done is bring, brought to front of mind the importance of personal responsibility around health. Yep. Um, and I think um, I, I was sitting in a study the other day, 70% of the UK population on a recent uh, survey from a health provider said that they wanted to take care of their health more. So we, we're, we're, so we're in a market where people are wanting uh, the solution. Um, so, so for us, it's about how do we um, meet that demand with the right people in the right place um, and make sure that, uh, um, that we're doing the right thing. Now, one of the challenges um, around franchising is that, of course, people ordinarily are, and, and rightly so, are attracted to franchising because of perceived low risk. You know, somebody's already done it before. There's a process to follow. And if you follow that process, it will succeed. Absolutely. Well, well what we've done is we, we, we've actually, to take, I suppose, in a way, put our money where our mouth is. We actually offer our franchisees a guarantee. What we say is that once you put your business plan together and we've, we've said, yes, that will work, 
we will guarantee that you'll achieve operating break even in six months or less. And if you don't, you don't pay any management service fee until you get to break even. And that's us really saying to, to people, let's reduce the risk yeah. by saying we're, we're in the boat with you. It's not just about we'll open it and let's hope. We're actually going to get in the boat with you because as, as we all know, we as a franchisor only make our income around franchisees developing to making turnover. But more importantly, we want to link it to profitability. And so, as, long as, as long as everyone's in the boat rowing in the same direction, hopefully. <laughs> yes, exactly. Success. Exactly. So, so, so yeah, so we're, we're looking. The, the, I think the crazy thing is the biggest challenge we're facing at the moment, we've got lots of people talking to us. The biggest challenge is finding property. The property yeah. market is just going nuts. Um, you'd think that, um, yeah, yeah, you just think there'd be, there'd be loads of property on the market and there just isn't. So um, that's our biggest challenge. Well, hopefully there will be soon, Mark. Um, yeah. I have one final question. It's the mm. same question I ask everybody. If you were to give a top tip um, to somebody that is looking to invest in a franchise today, what would your top tip be? That's a great question. I think um, if, you're a, if you're looking to franchise your business, mm. um, I think the top tip is you need to understand why your business works. You've got to absolutely crystallize why it works. And as a franchisee, don't get involved in a franchise unless you're prepared to follow that system. Because if it's worked for one, it'll work for you. And the moment you start to change it. So if you, if you want to do it your way, just go, don't buy a franchise. But if you want to buy a franchise, follow the system. Fantastic. Mark, thanks very much for taking the time to talk to me today. It's been really lovely. Thank you, Peter. I appreciate the opportunity and, and thanks for all the support the BFA have given us over the, you know, it's been a horrendous 18 months or so, but thank you for all the stuff you guys have been doing to keep the community together and help and support us. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Hashtag stronger together. Absolutely. God bless. See you soon. You too.